What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as something that you guys may not be expecting from me, but you'll find out that it's hella fucking legit, and I am playing Top Taric. So, oh god, oh god, my mic just fell off me, I freaking moved the slab of wood and it fell onto my stomach, it startled the fuck out of me. Anyways, just wanted to mention something real fast, because since I am me, um, and I have to mention something at the start of every game, as you guys know. This is a fan game, for one thing. I don't know why I mentioned that. That wasn't what I was talking about. But, as far as, um, doing, you know, my schedule or whatever, like, more ranked games, less normals, all this jazz, I've decided that I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I did that day. Like, I'm just going to record whatever I felt like recording, because, you know... I kind of thought about it, and when I do ranked, I really just like playing AD carry. So I'll upload ranked games if I get another roll and record them, uh, and I'll just upload AD carry ranked games, but I'm going to go back to just uploading whatever, because I was kind of uploading just constant things, and I was going to upload another ranked game today, actually, but the two ranked games I played were both AD carry, uh, even though I just said, hey, Phil, um, by the way, wow, that did no damage to me. But it was literally just, um, just a whole lot of nothing. Like, I played Lucian the first, or the second game, and he, this guy's already running himself in, so this is totally fine with me. Um, wow, he spent so much money on, like, nothing. Anyways, this will be pretty good after I hit level 2, because I'm about to hit level 2 before him. And there goes all of his mana already. Let's go ahead and pop this. There we go. There goes his shield. Let's go ahead and beat the fuck out of him. Bam! There you go. Get out of here. This is my house, son. This is Tarek's house. Boom. Out traded to the max. Alright, if you guys don't know, Top Tarek works against 80 people way more. Uh, simply because of all the, um, the armor. So obviously it works better for all the armor. And now I'm taking a lot of damage from the minions. That wasn't good. But, anyways, he spent way too much money on potions, like, that's... Oh, that misclick. That awkward misclick. That's pretty awkward. Anyways, now that I've got all three of my abilities, I can uh, beat him up a bit more. We are ahead in CS, and now he's under tower. Uh, looks like the Siege Marine took down his shield, and he is not using his third mana potion yet. So this is fine. I'm not going to bother using a potion yet, because my health is regenerating naturally. I forgot to buy a trinket. That is why I forgot. That is something I just realized I forgot. Because I was going to go ward and I was like, oh wait, no trinket. Well, I guess I'll get on my first back. That's kind of awkward. I'm sure I'm going to get comments about that now that uh, people are like, oh my god, where's your trinket, you stupid nerd. But, uh, nope. I don't have a trinket. Anyways, with Top Taric, you can kind of trade early, but I don't really like to, for the most part usually, because... Uh, I just get massively powerful once I hit 6. I'm actually laying him push on purpose right now. In case you guys were wondering, he's doing this a lot harder than I thought he would. But that'll actually help or work out in my benefit. Because since I was stupid and dig and trick it and don't have any wards, the further under my tower I am, the better off I'll be. Um, so this is, this is good. I'm just going to make sure I'm getting all of these CS's creep scores. Creep score? CS, there you go. And actually, just from being so passive, I've kind of gotten a lot. There we go. There's a bunch of damage off on him. He's trying to hurt me some, but that's fine. Because I was pretty much just trying to get him to use a bunch of his mana, which he did. So, I can kind of chill here for a little bit longer now. And get this CS. Because he's almost out of mana. He doesn't have any potions left. And after I hit level 6, I'll be able to all in him and kill him. Unless he, of course, pokes me down too much before then, which I don't think he will because he just doesn't have the mana to really get me that far down. Like, he's going to get me pretty low through spears, but he doesn't have the mana to uh, kill me. So I'm not too worried. Unless he does something crazy with uh, with the Heartseeker crit and whatnot. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to do this like I normally would right now. Yep. I'm not going to get that. Cause I didn't want to use the mana to get that one either. So that's, that's whatever. But after I get a few items, we'll be good. Don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry one bit. I'm almost at the money that I need to have right now. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself just so I can have more health in case he tries to get cheeky with me. 
which I don't think he will, but just in case he does, I'm just going to have a bit more HP. And now he has no mana anyway, so this is fine. Um, yeah, I can do some stuff to him right here. Bam! Yeah, you get out of here, son. Oh, huh? Am I going to hit him again? Boop! There we go. There's more damage off on him. And as you guys see, he only has 50 mana. The spear shot costs 45 when he uses on me, so... He might try and spear me. Or uh, he might try and jump on me. Either way. Actually, I've got my ultimate now. He's got his ultimate now, too. So he's got a bit more mana. Is he going to try and kill me? I don't think he's going to. But even if he does, he's going to get the fuck beaten out of him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Ah, you're dead. You are so dead. So dead. This is exactly what I meant, though. As soon... As soon as Tarek hits 6, I get a big power spike from my abilities, and actually now that I got that first blood, his potential to duel me has gone down the drain. So, after that, and it looks like our bot lane is doing well as well, so that's good for us. Let's see. Ezreal's 2-0. Hello. Hello. I might be dead. I might be dead here. Bam! Mm, bam! Come here. Uh. 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 Uh, uh, yeah! Get wrecked, son! Get wrecked! <laughs> Alright, that puts me at 2 0. Let's go back. Get our Glacial Shroud, because the first item you get on uh, on top Taric, or the first item that I like to get, actually, is um, an Iceborne Gauntlet. Because what you do, you pretty much just go straight armor. Does not matter what their team is. Luckily for me, their team is like straight AD. But, you know, if you're playing top Taric, you don't give a fuck. Okay, you do not give a single fuck what their team is. You hear me? You got me? Are you listening to me? Because you do not give a fuck. The other day I was playing this, they had a Vlad top, and then they had like a Syndra mid. They literally had one AD, and that was their AD carry, because they had an Elise jungle too. And you know what I did? I went fucking straight AD. And you know what happened? We won that game. Or not AD, straight armor. But point is, we won that game still. Because my damage is just so immense that it it didn't matter. Like, I, I could literally do whatever I wanted with all that armor. I think I had like 400 armor that game too. So it's really just adding some icing onto the cake whenever you actually do the right way. And as you guys can see, he cannot trade with me anymore. Because I will just beat the fuck out of him. Come here, get the fuck beaten out of you, son. Oh, that did a lot. Not. Come here, chump. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. God! God, get wrecked! Do you see what I mean, though? Like, the reason Top Taric is strong is because of his passive. It's literally a sheen that has no global cooldown. So, if you guys want to know what Taric's passive is, it makes it so a portion of your armor is added as magic damage every time you use a skill and then auto attack. So it's a sheen passive, basically, right? But, what it does is also... If you um, attack with that little passive, it'll make it so you um, all your other abilities are reduced their cooldown by two seconds. So really useful stuff, really useful stuff. And if he comes over to get this CS, I'm gonna kill him. Why? Why are you ganking for me, Kelly? I don't, I don't need your help. Come here, Chumbo Wumba. Oh, he's running right into the Ari, and the charm is a miss, but this will be a kill. Bam! And pop. Just for the hammer. Not even going to bother using my ultimate because that would be a waste of the cooldown. It looks like Rengar is here. So let's just see if he can... Let's see if we can bait him onto me. Never mind. I'm coming. Alright, here goes the ultimate. And is he just... No, he's, he's going to run out of there. He's coming out of there. Unless... There he is. Here I come. And I don't have my flash, but I will beat the fuck out of you. Come here. Fight me. Fight me. Uh. Fuck. Fuck out of here, son. Uh freaking heal her and then hit her again go ahead and get the stun and shatter double kill and that will be a double kill for me because all the ability spamming you beat the fuck out of everyone with your abilities you literally just roll your face on your keyboard with this and it will work okay you hear me are you guys still listening to me because i don't know if you guys are still listening to me it looks like my team got dragon so good job on my team's part there it looks like i can actually go back and get my iceborne gauntlet it's so fantastic Let's actually beat this guy up a little bit. Come here. Come here. I know you want to. I know you want to, man. Bam! There you go. Let's go ahead and just uh, get this CS real fast. Because he's not really going to do much to me. I'm going to get my potion popping. That way, uh... What are you doing, man? What do you think you're doing? 
I got so much armor for days, son. You, you ain't doing nothing. There we go. Now that I push that, I can go back. Go and get the Iceborne Gauntlet. Uh, that'll provide me with a lot of armor, a lot of CDR. Another, like an actual Sheen proc, making me do even more damage. Plus a slow, which is very, very necessary for Tarek. Because other than your son, you don't have any way to keep on people, right? So if you build that slow, it's very, very, very useful. So, that is why I'm building it. Looking at the items here, it looks like we are 5-0 and compared to Pantheon's 0-2, and, and we are 16 CS up on him. So we are doing very well for ourselves. It looks like Pantheon uh, just did something not sure exactly what you need to be careful Kelly I'm not uh, all right she's fine because he won't dare come close up here when I'm right here I don't know I don't know what she's I don't know what she's chilling up here so much for oh god she's dead she's dead she's not dead she might be dead she is dead all right do you got him more with you got him you got him I could have healed her actually hmm. Hmm. I'm a bad friend Up. Oh, there we go and then I just kind of casually walk out because turret diving, what the fuck is that? What are turrets? You know, when you got 175 armor, actually 211 pre-shatter. What are turrets, right? Like, what are turrets? Turrets ain't nothing. Anyways, let's go ahead and kill this thing. I probably should have healed Kelly. Uh, but I'm sure she'll forgive me. Anyways, 6 and 0. Let's go ahead and work on this tower some. And hopefully ain't nobody gonna try and jack my swag up here or nothing. Because, uh... Yeah, that should be the tower now. I'm gonna go ahead and chatter just for the sheen proc. Uh, heal myself for the sheen proc again. And this tower will be going down. I want this minion though. There we go. And now we get the tower down. Boop! Alright, tower is down. And I'm just gonna get VCS. And we'll see what we can do. Hey Pantheon, come here. Come here, son. Bam! You're slowed now. Uh, what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? That's right. You lose half your HP. Uh. Wrecked, son. Wrecked. Alright, we can dive him. We can dive him. Come here. Come here, I wanna dive you. Come on, use your stun on me. Use your stun on me. Come on, where is it? Come on. Uh, come on. Use it. There it is. Oh yeah, there we go. Now that stun won't be up, and if I can do this fast enough, we'll be good. And yeah, come here. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, we got a flash. And let's go ahead and ignite him, beat him up a little bit, and then he is not, he is not fucking with me. He is, he is not messing with me at all. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. I was going to try and bait him. But, uh, no reason to try and bait when, oh my gosh, he healed a lot. But we can still handle him. He's just a Rengar, and I got 215 armor, son. What are you going to do? Uh, come here. Bam! That damage. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Heal ourselves, hit this. And I can probably dive him here in a second. But I don't know if I really want to, because it's risky. I don't have my flash. It looks like Pantheon's jumping over there. He uses 5 Ferocity E on me, but I just gotta walk out of here. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. And it looks like we'll be fine. Maybe. Yep, where is he? Yep, boop! Let's go ahead and just stun him. Oh no! Yep, boop! Ha! man just had to smash the ground make sure I got a kill out of that if I had hit the pantheon and healed myself I may have gotten out of there alive but I'm not going to guarantee it because I was under 15% health so pantheon would have crit me with his spear so I could have lived maybe but I didn't act fast enough so it's it's iffy it's definitely iffy I'm gonna rush the sunfire cape Usually I would go either a Randuin's next or something like that. And it looks like I didn't have enough money for my chain vest. So I'm just going to sit here and we'll see what's going on. Are you with the Spirit Dash, whatever? What is it all called? Spirit Rush, I think. Yeah. Can I see it? Spirit Rush. Yeah, Spirit Rush. I was right. Getting the kill there. It looks like Ezreal popping his ultimate. 1v1 in this Draven because Blitzcrank had to run out there. And it looks like this Draven will not be having a good day. The Mystic Shot coming out, landing for the double kill. Great job, buddy. Now we can buy our chain vest and run back up to top lane. So great job to this Ezreal. He is doing very well, actually, as well. He is 7-1-1, one, one, just like me. And it looks like the 
Blitzcrank is 0-2 and 7, so he's been in on all of his kills too. So great cooperation bot lane. And let us go back to top lane and show this Pantheon who's boss. Because he shoved in my tower, and I don't want him to do that. Come here, get stunned. Yep, bam! There we go. Come here, buddy. Uh, you, yeah, you, you run away. You run away. Puss, puss, puss. Right, get stunned. What? Stun? Animation, please? GG? Why'd my stun animation not go? It showed the animation! But the stun didn't go off. That's OP as heck. Whatever, vision OP, I guess, so we'll just go back to pushing. Because Pantheon is building like a total gigantic vagina against us, because he knows he can't handle the Terry. He knows he can Wait, no! That's it! Pantheon's building like a vagina because vagina is Terra's ultimate counter! I get it! Oh! Pantheon's a genius! <gasps> Pantheon's a genius. Alright, anyways, let's get back to pushing this tower. Hello, Pantheon. Hello, hello, Pantheon. Oh, there's the stun! Yep, bam! Alright. How you, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, fucko? Boop! I tried to chaos that, but was not a success. So, gotta walk through that tower. Pick up this tower for free now as well. And good job to our buddy Kelly, who is now 4, 2, and 3. Trying to charm me, I guess, but Tarek is very resilient to the uh, RE charm. So, let's go ahead and just keep pushing this run up here and shatter all these wrecked. I'll pick up all that CS. Thank you. And let us heal her for the Sheen proc. And then just wait for that. Shatter for another Sheen proc. And hey, Soraka, what are you doing? Ooh. What are you selling? Ah! Bam! Charm coming out. Oh my goodness gracious. I still have got the tower, so let me just come over here. And if I can bring them over here, maybe I can kill them. Bam! Bam! Ba -ba! There's another kill! Come here, get out of here, son. That is my house. You can't, you can't jump us. You can't jump this. You can't jump Tarek. I'm too much of a beast. Look at this. Not even three full items. I've already got 282 armor. 282. What is it? Your turn? Uh, no, I don't have mana to make it your turn. Maybe I do. How much mana do I have? We got 300. We can make it his turn. We can, we can turn. Maybe she doesn't have a lot of mana. We can turn. Come on. I'll just sit here and beat these guys up. Make it look like, oh dang, Ankle Spanger don't know what he's doing, man. Ankle Spanger don't know what he's doing. Or just scale that CS and run it. Looks like Pantheon's all thin. So let's go ahead and just beat her up. That will be one kill. Go ahead and heal myself. Looks like this is a five man gank. I'm just gonna walk away. No, I'm not. They're CS. They're, they're, they're chain CCing me. So I guess we'll get a free dragon out of that. This is pretty typical sub games. Um, actually. Like, <laughs> I'm not surprised one bit that they sent the entire team up to kill me, because that's literally what every sub-game ends up being ever. But that happens. Anyways, we finished the sub-game, or not the sub-game, the, the Sunfire Cape. Now we gotta get the Randuins. And the Randuins, on top of being a very heavy armor item, it has another active slow, which, as I was saying earlier for Top Terror, that is amazing. Because... Anything that gives you that sticking potential, that also gives you armor and health, it just makes you that much better. So, very good choice to pick up the Randuins on Tarek. Usually I would pick it up first, but I was kind of feeling the Sunfire, so maybe that was just a today kind of thing, but we'll see. I want this blue buff, because actually, as, or as well as all this armor and HP and everything being good on me, obviously mana regen and... Um, the cooldown reduction will be very good on me as well, and I'm just kind of walking a little around it so my Sunfire Cape doesn't aggro the wolves. Kind of just taking a small precaution. The little things in life sometimes. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves and keep these uh, these cooldowns going a bit faster, and this will be my blue buff now. Level up my, uh, what is that called? Dazzle? Yeah, level up my Dazzle so I can uh, stun them a bit more and dazzle them with my greatness and luster. Which, uh, if you guys don't know, luster is similar to Shaney. That's kind of what that word means. But boom, let's go ahead and get all the CS, and the Sunfire Cape will pick up those two for us, and let's go ahead and dazzle that minion. Which, by the way, in sustained duels, I honestly don't think Tarek is outclassed by, like, anyone after he gets items. Because I was actually beating up a 4-in-1 Jax the other day as top Tarek, so... It's not something I would really underestimate, because I have done some cray things with it. Come here. Come here. Come here, Raka. Come here, Raka. Yeah, that's what I thought. You a puss? Boop. 
Sunfire cape CS in OP, dude. I'm getting like all these just for my Sunfire cape. Mm, boop. I guess I'll just beat this up. They're gonna try and like five man fight me, but it ain't gonna work. Cause I'm freaking, I'm motherfucking Tarek, you know what I'm saying? I'm motherfucking Tarek. I think Rengar ulted. So I'm just gonna walk out here for a second so Pantheon doesn't know exactly where I went to jump on me. You know, it looks like Pantheon is not jumping on me and uh, Rengar didn't ult. But I do see a very, very low Draven. No, 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 let me do it, let me do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, walking right into my clutches. Walking right into my clutches. Hello, Draven, bam! I honestly don't think he saw me. I'm pretty positive he didn't see me. And stunned, dazzled. Let's go ahead and get the slow off on you. Bam! Pop the ultimate and go ahead and heal her. This will be the kill right there. Stun him. And no, we'll just stun her and diver. Bam! Shatter. Bam! Double kill coming out for me. Tanking the tower. What is a tower, dude? I've got 277 armor, son. Now I've got 314 armor. Towers are nothing to top Tarek because you know what? It has been aiming for a while and I'm just not taking like 100 damage per shot. This ain't nothing, man. Tank a tower for days. You know, I do this in my sleep, son. But let's go ahead and work on this tower a little bit more, too. It looks like Draven Ultimate's coming out, and we'll be fine. He's going to dazzle me, but my dazzle is more dazzling than your dazzle, so don't even try and out-dazzle me. You can't outshine the real Tarek, son. You can't outshine me. Uh, come here. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Heal. No! Damn it. And the Ezreal Ultimate coming out. Ezreal, clean it up for me, baby. Come on. Okay, you're a gigantic wuss. Such a, such a wuss. Such a wuss. Such a wuss. But it looks like Rengar came out and is just getting shot a few times. Warwick with that KS. Damn, son. That's a little, uh, little... What's the word? Insulting, even, maybe. That he would seal that like that in his face. But who knows? Maybe, maybe he has a Grandmaster plan behind it. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he had his reasons. But let's go ahead and see here. Uh, what else does a Warden's Mail bid into? Frozen Heart. That could be really good on me, too. But I don't know if I want to get Frozen Heart and a Randuin's because that's 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 a little it's a little awkward. But oh yeah, another really good item on Tarek is uh, Spirit Visage because of the cooldown reduction and the healing that it gives you. It'll make your heal more effective, and it gives you that little MR that you kind of need um, later in the game. So it's definitely not something I would get first. It kind of contradicts everything I said earlier too. So, you know, personally, of course, I don't like to build it because then I look like a gigantic vagina. But, it does happen. So let's actually, I'm going to go ahead and get the, yeah, I'm going to get Frozen Heart. Let's go ahead and get the Warden's Mail right now. That'll bump me up to 440 armor. So I am very resilient to physical damages right now. As you guys know, it looks like Kelly picking up a kill on the Pantheon. And Ezreal misses Arcane Shot, Spirit Rush coming out, Blitzcrank picking up the kill with the Shockwave, whatever, the Static Field, I think it's called Static Field. And then Soraka ulting and flashing over the wall, so she is going to get out of there just fine. And then we will... Warwick will ult onto the Rengar, the Charm coming out, and the Foxfire, and the Q, or the Orb of Deception. If you guys want me to keep calling the skills by their names, is the Orb of Deception. Coming in for the kill. Actually, Ezreal KS that. GG. And the hook not going to land or rocket fist or whatever. I don't know what. I actually don't know exactly what Blitz's hook is called. I think it's rocket fist. The ulting Pantheon home guard is down. He is down. Okay. The hook missing again. Well, let's go ahead and. Oh, he's trying to dazzle me, son. Man, you guys ain't doing much to me at all. Come here. Get dazzled. Good dazzle! Uh, uh, okay, okay, no one's going in. I was silenced. Fuck you, Soraka. De silence. Alright, no one went in with me, plus I got silenced, so I couldn't kill them myself. And then obviously if my team's not going in with me, they won't be able to kill them either. But it looks like Ezreal, with the kiting right now, is maybe going to make it work. Warwick coming in, is he's just going to beat him up. Ezreal with the double kill so far. Will we pick up the triple, triple kill right there? Will he get the quadra kill? And that will be the quadra kill. Where's Pantheon? Come on, where is this Pantheon? Don't be BM, son. Because Pantheon must have spawned just a little bit ago. But Pantheon, of course, as the troll he was in lane, he just kind of sat there and danced. He's not going to be giving this Penta because he's kind of a uh, kind of a scrub and a wuss. But, you know, that's just how the world works sometimes, right? Anyways, a 13, 4, and 6. 
And actually, I'm going a little bit more Rambo than I usually would. I usually wait until a bit later in the game to go Rambo. But, um, yeah, right now, I'm just having fun at this point. But I want it. But I want it. Dang it. But I want it. Dang it. Fine. Whatever. I don't need it. Her honor is on the line. Alright. Nope. I'm just gonna walk by. Hello. Just walking by. They're gonna have their little 1v1. Let's spectate this. Spectators are here. And the charm coming out. The DFG coming out. The Orbit Deception coming out. Soraka ulting. And that is going to be the kill. Soraka ult cheated. Soraka cheated. You are a lowly peasant. That was a lowly, lowly peasant move. And it looks like Rengar coming out. Gonna go ahead and stun him. Make sure she doesn't die. Picking up the kill with the Orbit Deception. And I'm glad she got the uh, the charm off. Or else I don't think I would have responded fast enough. Let's go ahead and, and dazzle. And whoop. Picking up that kill with the Foxfire. And let's go ahead and just win this game real fast. Pop my ultimate. Go ahead and heal her. So she can have a little health in case someone tries to do something cray. We'll just go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and randuins him and ignite him and beat the fuck out of him. See ya later, Chumbo Wumba. And we'll go ahead and heal her. I can tank this tower for days. So I am fine with tanking that, and it looks like this will be the end of the game. And let us go in here and see what we can do. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yeah! Uh, 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 give me another kill! Come here. Next is turret hurts. Right, I can't go tank another shot of it. I don't have a thousand health. Just God double kill. There we go. Pop the ult. And let's just look fabulous for the end of the game. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of passive, you know. Kind of sleepy, kind of bored of the league, Tarek commentary. I hope you did. I hope you guys have something new to try because I actually think Tarek Top is really fun. So if you're against an AD Top, go ahead and give it a shot because you should wreck them. And um, as always, guys, I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace! Oh, yeah, I guess you can follow me on all that stuff in the description too. Just by the way. Anyways, peace! Twice! Three times! Peace!